Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 12. The word of the Lord came unto me again, came again unto me, saying, Son of man, that's a typical name given to Ezekiel and Jesus Christ. And we see the name given to Daniel, I think once or twice. When the land sinned, do you realize that when you get a group of people that the land has been defiled, that all these things that are going on today in the world, the hurricanes and, and the volcanoes and the fires and the, the winter storm, yes, they're the judgment of God. They're also the judgment of the land of the world because of the people. At one point in the scriptures, the Bible tells us that when a man has been murdered, that man's blood cries out from the ground. And except the person who, has, who did the murder be executed, there is no remedy. And when you got nations who there are murders, not only in America, Islamic nations that, that murder Christians. The Roman Catholic Church that has murdered Christians throughout Europe. The land sinneth. The land is defiled. The land is under a curse. Genesis chapter 3. When the land sinneth against me. By trespassing grievously, <clears throat> then will I stretch out my hand upon it. And the land we're talking about here is Judah, Jerusalem. I will break the, st the staff of bread thereof and will send famine upon it. So there's going to be no food. And remember, Ezekiel is in the time of Jeremiah. And in Jeremiah, we learned that there's a time that the bread is gone. Jeremiah, when he's in jail, they're like, give him what, what is left of the bread, because there's not much. Ezekiel take us in the midst of Jeremiah and after Jeremiah in the captivity. Ezekiel is in Babylon. Jeremiah is in Jerusalem. Ezekiel sending off to Ezekiel sending off to Jerusalem and the Jews. Repeating what Jeremiah is preaching. And will cut off man and beast from it. Though these three men, Noah, Noah had his three sons, his three daughter-in-laws, his wife, overcame the world in the ark that was flooded. Daniel, who overcame Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, well, not yet Daniel in the lion's den, because that's later on. That's when, that's when the, the Greeks come in. So the, the Daniel in the lion's den hasn't happened yet. And Job, who overcame Satan. Noah had three boys. Daniel had no children. He was a eunuch. Job's children were killed and many believed they were resurrected, as I believe. We're in it. In, in the situation where Jerusalem's in today. In Noah's time, there was no Jerusalem. Daniel... Jerusalem is there, but it's going to be conquered. Job, there was no Jerusalem. They should deliver but their own souls. Noah, at this point in time, God is so angry. God would have said to Noah, you alone. What about my wife? And, no, no, just you. Daniel, what about Shadrach, Meshach, and No, no, just you, Daniel. 
Job, you're not getting your children back, just you. God is so angry with Jerusalem and the people of Judah. Hey, only three men would come out, and Daniel came out with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and Ezekiel, and others. But if I cause noisome beasts, noisome beasts is noxious to health, hurtful, mischievous, unwholesome, destructive. Injured. To pass through the land, they will spoil it. They will destroy it. This spoil is not taking uh, uh, things from from bow. This spoil, this spoil is making uh, you know the milk is spoiled. The fruits are spoiled. So that be desolate, empty, nothing. That no man may pass through because of the bee. So famine and these noisome beasts. Though these three men were in it, Noah, Daniel, Job, as I live, now that's an oath of God, saith the Lord God. That's a wonderful oath. That's a mighty oath, because when does God ever die? God doesn't die. As I live, God says, the eternal being that I am, I swear by myself, and you find that in Hebrews. Saith the Lord God, they shall deliver neither sons, nor daughters. That's interesting because Daniel didn't have, he was a eunuch. He was made a eunuch. Eunuch don't have sons and daughters. Maybe there's something about Daniel that we didn't know about. Maybe before he went to Babylon, maybe he had sons and daughters. Noah had son, sons and daughter-in-laws. We know Job has sons and daughters. I'm I don't want to stretch myself out to maybe Daniel had children. And those children would have been lost and killed. Or just left off into the history of But we don't know. I don't know. They only shall be delivered. Noah, Daniel, and Job. But the land shall be desolate. <clears throat> or if I, God, bring a sword upon the land, war, and say, sword, go through the land, and the sword is coming, the famine's there in Jeremiah's time, sword, go through the land, war, Babylon, Chaldean, so that I cut off man and beast from it, Though these three men were in it, if they were in it, Noah, Daniel, and Job, as I live the eternal oath again, saith the Lord God, they shall never deliver sons nor daughters. Repeat it. But only they, I mean, but they only shall be delivered themselves. So that's interesting. Daniel is, is listed with, with sons and daughters. Possibility that he had children before he was made a eunuch. Or, here we go again, if I send a pestilence, a disease, you mean a COVID-19? You mean you haven't read what happened in Egypt? COVID-19 is of God. You better believe it. The black death that went through Europe is by a, a, a church that was killing Christians, that closed the word of God, burned the word of God, and killed Christians upon stakes. You know why it was the black death? You know why it was the black in Europe? Because the Bible was closed, the Bible was forbidden, the Bible was burned. They say, they say mice. The diseases of mice and the fleas were involved with the, with the Black Plague in Europe. You mean you didn't read about the Ark of God in, in the Philistines that where they made the golden mice because they were diseased by the mice? You mean you didn't read your Bible? I don't read the Old Testament style. It's boring. I don't understand it. No. I go get a book about the Bible. I don't read the Bible. 
No, God says study the word of God. He didn't say study an author. Books about the Bible are good, but they're not the Bible. Someone may tell you something that's not true. I hear things untrue about the Bible almost daily. For thus saith the Lord God. Wait a minute, I didn't send past verse 19 and pour out my fury. God's angry. You mean that loving, great, wonderful, wonderful God? God's got fury. You mean that wonderful, great God? He would do no harm. Everybody's going to go to heaven. That's a lie. We got a righteous, holy, loving God, true, but we also got a God that gets angry. We also got a God that's holy. He can't put up with unholiness. He will judge unholiness for his holiness sake. The fury part is the liberal don't believe upon it in blood. Death to cut off from it, man and beast. Though Noah, Daniel, and Job, you believe in Noah, Daniel, and Job? The Holy Spirit says there's Holy Spirit said Ezekiel, Noah, and Ezekiel. Yeah, I know Noah. He's the guy that built the ark. And Daniel. Yeah, he's over there. <laughs> Job. Oh yeah, Job. I, I I heard about Job. Maybe you might read Job. Maybe Ezekiel had the book of Job. I know them. Scholars don't believe in him. They just found uh, today, they just found recently a man found some fossils up on a mountain, and they said it's got to prove a worldwide flood. Well, what do you think about that, Stiley? I, I think about I read the Bible. I believe the Bible. I don't need that evidence. I believe the Bible called faith. That evidence may have been planted. I believe what the Bible says. Noah, Daniel, and Job. You want, you, want, you want to go see the Ark Encounter? I don't need to go to the Ark Encounter. I got the Bible. I believe what the Bible is. I don't believe that nonsense. I'm not going to pay for that junk. I'm not going to do it. If God wants me to see the Ark, when I get the glory, he'll show me the Ark. But I'll see a better Ark when I get the glory, according to, to John in the book of Revelation. I'll see the Ark of the Covenant. That Indiana Jones was trying to find. You can't find the Ark of the Covenant without Jesus Christ. Tell Harrison Ford, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and he will find the Ark of the Covenant. It's in heaven. Daniel. Noah, Daniel, and Job are in heaven. As I live, there's the eternal oath again of an almighty God that never dies. That's why Jesus Christ was 100% man, 100% God. If he was fully 100% God without being man, he would never died on that cross. And if he wasn't God, like the Jehovah Witnesses say, 100% God, he couldn't, he couldn't pay for my sins. When he died, in his holy blood that Acts 20.28 20, says is God's blood. They shall deliver neither son nor daughter again the third time. Noah, Daniel, and Job, son and daughter. Scriptures tell us about Noah and his three sons. Scripture tells us that Job, his sons, and, and his daughters were in, in a tent, and, and that storm that came and killed those killed the children, and the children resurrected. Daniel, what's the scripture saying? They shall but deliver their own souls by the righteous. Daniel relieved all the Jews that were in the time. Nebuchadnezzar was going to kill all the, all the Magi, all the science, all the people who had divination because they couldn't interpret their dream. Daniel says, wait, God will interpret your dream, Nebuchadnezzar, and they were spared. You forgot about that. For thus saith the Lord God, how much more shall I send my four Judgments, sword judgments upon Jerusalem. The sword, war, 
the famine, no food, the noise and beasts. Uh, why are we reading in bears are coming up? They're taking finding bears. They're swimming in the swimming pool. They're, they're coming up the front door. You got deers running through stores. You got rabies. You got all these animals today in the news coming around. Why is that? All these sharks save the whales. And they're going to come back and bite you. That's God. God's the famine. God's the war. God's the beast. Yes, God is the Democratic president called President Biden. Yes, God has made gasoline expensive. Yes, God has made the shells with no food and, and all the tankers are out in the, in the, in the oceans. And they can't come in. Why? And the pestilence, the diseases. That sounds like today. That is God sent them. Why? Because you Christians are not thankful. You don't sit down and say, Lord, truly thank you for this meal. Okay, fine. I'll put your meal out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. You have a Black Friday raft that one day is supposed to be given to, to Jesus Christ and to God for a Thanksgiving period dedicated by George Washington. And hurry, hurry, hurry up so we can go buy the junk. Guys, okay, I'll put your junk out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. How dare you rush my holiday that, that, that your president gave for me in the honor of me so you can go buy junk. Listen. Thanksgiving is a time of, of Thanksgiving, thanking to God, and Christmas is a time to say, oh, all the junk, I, 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 I didn't get the shirt I wanted, I didn't get the game I wanted, I could go return it. And then New Year's Day, you get the bill. <laughs> Famine. Your, your stores are getting, there's, there's not many stuff on the shelf anymore. The noise and beast, I told you about the beast and all that. The pestilence, the, the, the disease of COVID-19. Oh, praise Pfizer for giving us. Praise Johnson and Johnson. The gods of Johnson and Johnson and the gods of Pfizer for giving us the shots. Yeah, we got this taken care of. There's more to come. To cut off from it, man and beast. Even the beasts are suffering. The beasts are suffering for man's sin. What do the beasts do? Yet, behold, therein shall be left a remnant of Israel. Oh, God's all finished with Israel. God's all done with the Jews. <laughs> he got a remnant. What's the remnant, Ezekiel? Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, Indigo, the, the vast name of all the numbers in Ezekiel and, and Nehemiah. The remnant that shows up in the time of Jesus that rejects him. God ain't finished with the Jews. They're going to get the new earth, I believe. Because God promised them the land. Abraham's going to get, God promised Abraham a, a land, and Abraham never got it, Hebrew says. So either God's a liar, or the new earth goes to Abraham and his descendants. Isaac and Jacob, not Ishmael. If there's any Ishmaelites that get the land, they're going to get the, the heavens, the new heavens. The Gentiles. It shall be a remnant that shall be brought forth. Both sons and daughters. Jewish children. There was a remnant that came out under World War II. The Nazis did not eliminate all the Jews. And you can find their stories, and people will try to say, "Oh, you know, you know, the, the Nazi death camps and all that wasn't true. The that, that was a lie. No, no, yes, it was true." And there were Jews that came out of that, and there are stories where you can read about Jews and behind. What happened? God's not all finished with the Jew. 
The Antichrist is going to seek out. He wants to destroy the Jews. There will be Jews that come out. We're going to find them, I think, Sela Petra. When Jesus Christ mounts on this horse and the church behind him, we're going to come back and we're going to get the Jews like the Jews came and got Rahab in the cursed city. So you've got to read the Old Testament because the Old Testament is going to happen again. Everything that happened in Egypt is going to happen in the time of the Antichrist. She'll bring forth sons and daughters. Behold, they shall come forth unto you, and ye shall see their way and their doing. And ye shall be comforted concerning the evil that I have brought upon. Did you read that? I brought evil upon Jerusalem. That's God. God brought the evil. God brought the COVID-19, and God's going to bring a lot more. And people are going to die. And they're going to die, but they heard the gospel, the long-suffering of God, and the bringing of the, of the preaching of the gospel, and, and Christians and unbelievers are going to suffer, and they're going to die. Because of sins. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Christians in churches today are sinning. In their churches there is the worship of Esther. There is the worship of Tammuz. There is lying. There is the false word of God. There is the Christians angering God in their worship services. And all this comes Concerning the evil that I, God, have brought upon Jerusalem. God brought it upon his people of Israel. You better believe he'll bring it on his people, the Christians. Don't you think these kids, I'm saved and go <laughs> nothing's going to happen to me. Everything's going to be rich and wonderful and, and life is going to be great and smile my wonderful white teeth. And yeah, what about the life of Paul? Paul didn't have a wonderful, rich, full life on this earth. That's in glory. Paul says, hey, hey, God, I have an infirmity. God, I have a infirmity. God, it hurts. I brought it upon you, and my grace is sufficient for you. That was an evil. Remember, evil is not always sin. Evil could be a consequence of sin. Evil is one of the words that, yes, it can be sin, but it can also be a consequence of sin. And it can be sin and a consequence. I have brought upon Jerusalem God's people. The loving great God brought it upon his own people. I'm going to get you. I'm going to spank you. Hebrews chapter 13. Wow, how much do we, qu we quote and how much do we see in the book of Hebrews? From a Hebrew named Ezekiel, a priest. Even concerning all that I have brought upon it. You know the destruction of Jerusalem by Nebuchadnezzar, by the Chaldean? God said, I did that. The destruction of the temple, burning it, destroying it. That Nehemiah says, I can't even walk any further with my ass. That's God. God's right there. Ezekiel 14, 22, God said, I brought that. No more king in, 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 in Israel until Jesus comes. God says, I did that. Some people are afraid to say God brought AIDS. God brought COVID-19. God brought the, the fires in the, in the West Coast. God bring these massive snowstorms. God brought all the, these hurricanes. We ran out of names for the hurricanes this year, and we had to jump to uh, another name. We went through all the names, and then we had another hurricane. Florida, a couple weeks ago, had a nor'easter. That was a hurricane. Florida don't get nor'easters. Nor'easters up in New England, where I came from, the state of Connecticut. We got nor'easters up there. How can we get a nor'easter in Florida, God? And they're saying that nor'easter did damage in Florida. You better be paying attention. You better wake up. It's God saying, get right, repent. We saw early in Ezekiel 14. 
and they shall comfort you. When you see their ways and their doings, that's the millennium. You know what's going to be a comfort for me and Christians? When Jesus Christ is King of kings, Lord of lords, and David's throne in Jerusalem, and we're sitting there and we're watching the Jews living like they should. In the law, in the temple, everything that God prescribed for them, doing it finally, doing it right, with a new heart. And we're going to sit back and say, well, how wonderful it is. God's going to sit back and say, this is how I wanted it. Where's the people that said that God's all finished with the Jews? Off in the lake of fire that burns forever. When we see the curses removed off the earth, like Adam and Eve were to have it before they fell, and how wonderful great tomatoes will be. I'll be, in the, I'll be in the world's greatest tomato patch when I come. I believe I'm coming back. Hopefully I get one city. Tomato city, that's what I want. I want tomatoes that are undone by the curse with salt and pepper and mayo. The Bible says one of the minor prophets, which I heard a preacher say, one of the minor prophets with a major message says that they're going to plant and right behind is going to be someone picking. They're going to be planting and reaping and sowing at the same time. That's the money. And they're all about Israel, the Jew. Ye shall know that I have not done without cause all that I have done in it, saith the Lord God. Listen, God has brought all these judgments because of one reason. Because of sin. That's why. My health is, is has failed because of sin. Death becomes of sin. The wages of sin is death. The earth is under a curse because sin entered Genesis chapter 3. We've got to realize we have a holy God that cannot deal with sin and he deals with sin by judgment. And we are required to repent and get right with God or it will get worse. And it will get worse until death happens or Jesus Christ returns. You think it's bad now? You wait till under the Antichrist. When God removes his church. And read the book of Revelation. Read all the judgments that are going to happen. Why? Because men don't want to get right with God. I tell you today. Repent. I tell you today, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. I tell you today, buckle up, prepare, because it's going to get worse until Jesus comes. All they that live godly shall suffer persecution. And anybody tells you everything's going to be great, everything's going to be wonderful, kick them in the face for me. Smack them in the face for me and turn them off. And open your Bible and read. Seek the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Seek the mercy and grace of God. And whatever happens, give God the glory. That's what he just said. Everything that's happened in Jerusalem, give God the glory. Because there's a reason. It's called sin. And when you play with sin, it's going to bite you.